Bye guys. So Welcome let's, to Alliance Military Database. Again. Classified information requested. So Establishing secure connection. Aspect. Secure connection confirmed. And it's it's one of my all time favorite games. Please log in to access your profile. I've I've, I've put a, a little bit of, of mods just to make it run a little bit better. Profile and... reconstruction complete. Oh no, I don't want that. Please log in to access your profile. Please log in to access your profile. Yeah, so the textures is a little bit higher and uh, the videos are higher and there's a Higher resolution. It's like 4K, I think. They upscaled Warning. it to. Warning: Data corruption detected. I think it looks Please good. reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Hi, Steve. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, as I was saying. As you can see on, on Shepard over here, the textures are a lot higher than they were in the original Mass Effect. Confirm psychological profile. And that was a war hero, definitely. Confirm military specialization. I always like choose a one with a sniper rifle. Yes, he's very loud. Confirm facial identification. I'll turn it down in just a second. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the resolution is a lot better. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Year 2148. Explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars, the basis for this incredible. Well, it's called Mass Effect. Oh, it's looking good. Terrace Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. I love this game. And I love the, the Joker. Hot. Acquiring so a approach vector. All stations secure for transit.
I know the sound is very loud, I'll turn, three, turn it down in just a second. Two. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. <laughs> I, I hate, hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're, You're paranoid. paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than yeah. the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? You made him mad? You pissed the captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Let's see if this is better than Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. Thank Didn't you, Dad. Cause any trouble? But you have to admit something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite good... operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. That's a good point. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. Why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. <laughs> you don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. That's true. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Plus, Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I don't like it. Either. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, good luck. 
I grew up on East Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying well, on Eden Prime we're too not long. getting Rex we until the next game, action. I think. I sincerely or... hope you're kidding, Corbin. No, no, he, he comes Your this real game. real action usually but, ends uh, with me patching up crew members in the It's gonna take a while. I just started. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Yeah. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job no. to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. I'm pretty sure the captain's will. waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. I'm not. I'm not gonna do a speed run. Gotta go fast. Yeah. Let me just kill him then. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I thought he I'm was already here. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Oh, really? I'll fix that. That wasn't better. Why the frick? Okay. Oh, heck no. Okay, that should be better. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason it just kept holding on to it even though I had let go of the mouse. They say it's a paradise. Yeah, I don't remember yes, either, so we'll just Serene, try. Tranquil, safe. Maybe I'll have to Even move it again. Has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Just your say people it. are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Did you did you guys see that the, they're making a new a new uh, remaster, I guess, legendary edition of Mass Effect? I can't do that. See. I just don't have any other with the game on. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Sure. Then I need to make an, a new one for each game. 
I guess. Yeah, they're making a. It's called Legendary Edition. That just made me want to play them all again. I'm, I'm gonna have to try them when the Legendary Edition comes as well, so I can compare them. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. 200 Eden years. Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why, Why didn't we keep the beacon the for ourselves? Yeah. You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish. Too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. Okay. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. I guess that known. explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing <laughs> for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. Yeah, the Spectres represent the I Council's right. power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks... Maybe I should just make my face game really small. Come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. Okay. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I wonder if the... of the... If the markings on the Turian's faces are... I assume this is good for the Alliance. It? Earth needs this, Shepard. Or do We're they paint it on, or...? I need to see your skills Maybe it's myself, Maybelline. Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Let me just try that. Mother. Fucker. Like that, maybe? No, you're right. Want to become famous? Buy followers? Nah, not really. <laughs> Fuck you. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Yeah. Bring it up on screen. Reporting for duty. It's Ashley. She's usually the one I keep because I hate the other guy. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. They came out of nowhere. They came from the moon. Everything 
cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just, Just goes dead. Third. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. That's a hand. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Okay. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. No, not Jenkins. Engaging stealth systems. I can still see it. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nyland, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's We've yours. Got his back. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Yeah, it's, a, it's really loud. Well, I I've put mods on, so the textures is is 4K to make it look a little bit better. Wow! Apparently, I can't hit shit. <laughs> I think we got him. Damn! Damn! What else do I got? Is that like a shotgun? Yeah. Where's my sniper? Is that it? Yeah. It's covering up our life. Oh my god. I can put it here maybe? No. Fuck it. I think so. Middle left. Look here. Maybe smaller than. What even is this? To the right, like right here, you think so? Don't you think it's... no, because the... 
the options get over there. I think if I make it like here, yeah, maybe a bit smaller. Maybe there. It all just be yeah. give it a whirl. I will. This seems like the wrong way. I don't feel like I run any any faster when I do this. I can't wait till I'm done with this game so I can play Mass Effect 2, which is the best of the three. Oh, okay. Cutscene then. Jenkins! Ooh. I hate this. The sound. Oh. I hit one. Oh no. And drama that was shit as all hell. You shouldn't play that. Nope. Unlock sniper rifles. Okay, so I need some pistols. I can just put it on, you bastard. Target assist. I don't want that, I just need to get into this game. Because, see, when you... it, I'm not moving the mouse at all. So yeah, I just need to... get into it. Jenkins! Rip right through his shields. We ran a chance. Realism, yeah. Well. He deserves we'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you well, to it, stay it gets, uh, it gets better I when I upgrade. Sir. I just, uh, right now. It's an un untrained weapon. The pistols. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. 
A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Yeah, it's it's it gets better when I upgrade it. I wanna upgrade. Shield battery would be nice because I lose my shield almost instantly. And he needs that because he dies all the time. What? Oh, it falls in the game. Better with the with the pistols that is upgraded a bit. Perimeter secure. Now we're gonna meet Ashley. Oh, here she is. Good thing she has shields. She gets so hot in the later games. She's not hot now. Oh, the Geth. They're pretty cool. And in the third one, we we meet a new one called Legion. That's a grenade. Apparently I could do that. What is that? Right, okay. <laughs> Gunnery Chief Good Ashley timing. Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the Excellent beacon, timing. but we walked Definitely. into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them. No. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Yeah. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Chaotic Evil playthrough. It's so fun later when I just get to just hit people every time. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI edge. programming, created by the Quarians a few of centuries the ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. She doesn't know They were know doing anything. some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Protean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly every scientific expert and in the, the colony beacon. was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to okay. the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Move out. I doubt it. Ooh. 
better result? Yeah, okay, so it's a lot better. And there's the same one. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Chemical rounds. Just do that. That's awesome. Oh, you! I think you could turn that off in the in the settings. Sniper rifle, maybe? Yes, I know about this. So, a bit more damage, one less shot. It's less as accurate, though. No, thank you. And no, thank you. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know it more after it. we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Well, they're making them all into... Change plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. They've all become husk. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yeah, here they are. Oh god, they're still alive. What did wow. the Geth do to them? Alive? Oh, okay. The effects are the most oversized needle, yeah. It's making them into other stuff. That door is closed. Let's see if I can hack it.
I can't. <laughs> it's just a little prick. <laughs> Try it again. Humans, thank yeah. the maker. Hurry, I just allowed close it. the door before they come back. Oh, you see? Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. Manuel. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, <laughs> only ruin and corpses will remain. Well, he's not wrong. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. <laughs> you want me to do that? It's up to you, Chad. Everos, should I shut him up? Military state. Say good night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> oh my God! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. Shut up, you Katie. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. He's okay. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. <laughs> I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. I suppose you're right. What else can what you tell me fuck? about the attack? <laughs> it all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geths swarmed over the camp. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move. Until you came along. Well, Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. There's nothing in here. <laughs> I love the contrast. It's all race. You're really good, or you're really evil. Sarah? Yes, okay. Sarah. Yes. This isn't your mission, Saren. Saren what are you a doing here? More machine than human. The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the it's size of it. It's a Reaper.
Face zip ties. <laughs> Fist to the face. Yeah. Well, it worked. He shut up. Easy decryption. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. We're not armed. Is it well, safe? Are they gone? Let's see. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. The same thing, thing I'll punch you in the shit. face. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. We knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Come from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. Okay. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! I well, have to go. Goodbye. Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. I don't like being lied to. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Yeah, I have Anya making dinner for me. As soon as it's done, I'll you're take a break the law, here. Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would well, come thank you for stopping by. Came back. Mess. It was fun. Probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? No, I can't. I can't do that. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. Ooh, a better pistol. <laughs> Thank you, that was awesome. It was fun? Well, it was the point of you to, to fall for it, everybody. I'm, I'm probably gonna stream the whole evening this, so you can stop by later and say hi if you want to. Yeah, see you. Well, the flames have definitely been updated. Commander. Nihilus. Holy shit, it's Nihilus. A Turian? You know him? Yeah. He's a Spectre. He was with us in the morning. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! <laughs> Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. You should be more quiet when I'm My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. 
and Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I... I was already behind the crates when the attack started. <laughs> Wait a minute. Were you sleeping? You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> if you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Well, we need to find that beacon go. before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. Oh well. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Upgrade kit. is crazy. Thank you. 
So I had a level of how is it that I registered? Oh, you? Apparently it's you. Yes, sniper rifles. Think there's any more? I'm getting quite hungry. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony, leave no evidence that we were here. Okay. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut yes, them down. Yes, yes, I am. I am. They got him. Four minutes. Well, it's easy when they just put them like in a row like this. Food now. Get Hi guys. How you all doing? Oh, you've been talking to Emperor's. That's awesome. Yeah. Stop by. That's amazing. Dinner is ready in five minutes. So good. 
that's good. Dinner is ready in five minutes, so uh, yeah. you have a few minutes to wrap up for now and then you can come back later. Okay. And it does, uh, it does uh, come up to a good point of view. Awesome. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having fun watching this. Turbo, play the mask effect. I have to move around the face cam because it was in the way of the Of course, so you had to pick up the stick. Yeah. That was something. See if there's anything over here. Oh, there is. Technician kit. Stimulant pack. Ooh, a shield battery too. To 40 now. 45. Well, yeah, okay. How many tools? No. Grenades? No. 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 Oh, well. Something I use, so oh, that's, I think something on the roll. A storage lock. Yeah. High caliber barrel. Ammo upgrade. Twelve percent more damage. Yeah. Oh, there's also a storage locker. I almost missed that one. Oh, two two new pistols. And another sniper rifle. Nope. That is a lot more damage though. It is less accurate. Let's take a look at this beacon. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Get back. Oh, 
Shepard! No, don't touch him! It's too dangerous! That happened. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Not happy. This human must be eliminated. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Oh my God, I'm waking up. So yeah, I think as soon you as I can pause here. There, How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Fifteen Something hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In you private. private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Yeah. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? Yeah. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's yes. trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. 
I only know it had something to do with that beacon. Yeah. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. Yeah. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. Yeah. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. So this is where we will... stop for now. I'll start the stream again as soon as I've eaten. So we can... Uh, we can continue this epic story. But thank you guys for stopping by. And uh, if you've written in the chat, I appreciate it. <laughs>